What is up guys? Welcome to something a little bit different today. We are doing a subscriber battle best of three. We're going into the anything goes tier so we can literally do anything we want. One of my subs hit me up as you can see Arcanine Gaming. I can't PM him because apparently he was banned for some reason from PMing. I don't know. But anyway, um, we're going to be doing a subscriber battle. Uh, like I said, best of three. We have three teams, four actually. I'm going to be uh, switching up the last one depending on whether we win the first two or we lose. Uh, one of them, so uh, that's gonna be that. But this first team that we have here is really cool Charizard X, Quagsire Unaware, uh, Spike Stacking Skarmory. We got Moody Beaver, Moody, um, what's this thing's name? Viberal. Uh, we have a uh, Sporing Breloom because you can sport as many things as you want, and I'm using Greninja because I can. So that's gonna be the first team. It's more fun than anything else. I'm gonna click challenge. Hopefully, our opponent gets our, uh, our challenge right here. Hopefully, he's not uh, blocked from that too, but uh, we will see. And uh, once we're in the battle with him, we'll, we'll chat it up. A little bit, but uh, I'm gonna pause until we actually get into the battle, guys. Be right back. All right, guys, and we're here. We are Arcanine Gaming, ready to take it on. Uh, he's got a Mega Kangaskhan. He's also got a uh, an Arceus form, so this might be a little bit difficult. We shall see. We don't have a Ghost to spin block him, so that's a little bit unfortunate. A uh, couple of cool sets here, though. I like it. I made this from scratch, though, so uh, give me some cut me some slack. Uh, we are going to say have fun, man, and uh, hope you have. Three teams ready. There we go. So, um, I think we're going to just lead with uh, probably... You know what? Bibril seems like the best lead. He leads off with Fortress. That's fine. What we're going to do is just uh, substitute up right away. We, we are moody, so we are going to get a lot of stat boosts right here. He's going to go for Toxic Spice. That's absolutely fine. Going to get an attack raise right there. Defense drop. Not a big deal. Uh, we're going to go straight for the return. Break this thing sturdy. And uh, do a nice amount of damage, actually. He is Rocky Helmet, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Uh, as we are going to get a defense raise, a special at uh, defense lowering. Uh, and I think that Dig is actually a little bit stronger than Return. Uh, because of the... Uh, because of not being resisted, of course. So I'm going to go straight for the Dig right here. As he's going to go for Spikes, he's completely Spike Stacking. But that's fine. Our attack actually just went up, so this could be very good. Just going to go for the Dig. Uh, he's gonna go for Stealth Rocks. He's fully spike stacked us, but that's okay. We're gonna get off some a nice 36% right there. Uh, we're gonna get a final attack raise, so this is good. This is looking good. We might be able to knock out this fortress right here. Uh, we'll just go for the dig, which means that he won't hit our substitute if he explodes, which he might actually do right here. And uh, we can't really hit the Trevenant, uh, but that's about it. That's the only thing we can't really hit. Uh, anything else we can we can hit pretty hard now because we are a plus uh, plus six attack. Uh, he is going to go straight into that Trevenant. We are going to go for the Dig. Going to get some Evasion. Uh, lowering of Defense, I believe, right there. We are Max Attack. Uh, plus 2 Evasion. He's going to go for Rest. That's not going to work, clearly. And uh, this Dig is actually going to do a nice 36%. Not too much, but uh, enough, I think. Enough. It should be good. Going to go for another Dig. He's going to go for the Earthquake. Be able to break our sub. We are going to go for Dig. We are going to get a uh, Defense Boost right there. Uh, a little bit of an Attack Lowering. Not too bad. He's going to go for Earthquake and Miss. I thought that hit through Dig. I really did. I, I, I thought it did. But anyway, our attack is going to go back up, and we are going to dig again, and he's going to go for the rest. He's going to stay asleep for two turns. It's kind of bad because uh, he does... Okay, he has the uh, the Chesto Berry. That's okay. Uh, going to get the attack, the uh, accuracy raise, was it? I think so. We'll go for dig again. Goes through the Earthquake. He is able to hit us through the, uh, through the, uh, the, the dig. It's because we were behind a sub before. That's what it was. All right, and now he's fully Spike Stack us, which is a little bit annoying. Not sure what the rest of his set is. Uh, I'm actually just going to go hard into Skarmory, and I'm going to do the same thing to him that he did to us. And I'm going to spike stack him up here. I'm going to go for the Stealth Rocks. He's going to go for a Drain Punch. It's not going to do too much. Uh, he is going to harvest his Chesto Berry. It's not going to matter in the end. I'm just going to go for Spikes right here. And uh, I need to be able to knock this thing out. So I am going to fully spike stack him and then go for a Brave Bird. He's going to switch out into his Kangaskhan, actually, which might be able to fake me out right here. Uh, but I am just going to go for another layer of Spikes, because if he does put me into Custap range, we should be okay. And uh, he does fake us out right there. Sorry if you heard my phone. I don't think any hit he can go for will straight knock us out. So I am just going to go for spikes again. We are faster actually than his Kangaskhan. He's going to power up punch us twice. Uh, which is going to put us into Custap. Which is awesome. And now we are going to knock ourselves out with the Brave Bird hopefully. Uh, and do some nice damage to this Kangaskhan actually. Uh, we don't knock ourselves out. But he's only going to get one power up punch. So it's not too bad. Plus we have Breloom in the back with, um, with Mock Punch. Now, I think Quagsire is actually my best play here, just because it doesn't do much this game, and I want to be able to throw out a Toxic. If he goes into Fortress, that's fine. We still have a Charizard, and our Charizard is pretty much our way to win here. 
We'll see what he wants to do. He wants to go for double edge. Again, he's not fully boosted right now, so we'll be able to throw up this toxic. Not, okay, that's fine. Uh, he did take the recoil from double edge, but he's super slow because Skarmory outsped him. So I think Greninja can come in after and just knock this thing out. As long as he doesn't have Sucker Punch, that is. Uh, we'll go for Scald right here. He's gonna go for Wish, actually. Do we get the burn? We do not. But he can't wish up fully unless he has protect, but he doesn't have protect. We can clearly see that, so. Um, but he is going to be able to get back his HP here, unfortunately. Alright, so now I have a decision to make. Do I want to mock Punch this thing or do I want to Flare Blitz it? I think I need Charizard in the back for the Trevenant and the, um, and the Superior more than anything. So I am just going to go into Breloom right here. And we're just going to go for the Mach Punch, seeing as he doesn't have any form of priority. It should be able to knock out the Kangaskhan, no problem. We are Life Orb Technicians, so that shouldn't be an issue. Breloom actually puts in some solid work against the Titar, against the uh, the Arceus as well, as long as it's not E-Speed. So we might lose this one. Uh, but again, like I said, this is all just for fun, guys. I just made a random team a little bit earlier today. And uh, it worked. Uh, actually worked pretty well on the ladder, but this guy seems to know what he's doing and anything goes. So, uh, yeah, he said no legends, though, and he brought an Arceus. Hold on a second. Didn't we say no legends? And I'm really sorry if you hear my phone, guys, but it's going off right now. He brought an Arceus, and he said no legends, which I find very interesting. I'm just gonna mock punch this thing as well, keep him from rapid spinning, keep my hazards up. Gonna take a little bit more damage from the Rocky Helmet, from the Life Orb, and the Poison. Uh, but I think I can still switch in on Spikes and, uh, and Stealth Rock, so I might want to keep this for later. Um, not that I think we're going to win this game, honestly. <laughs> he goes into Trevenant, that's absolutely fine. He does have the uh, Chesto Berry. I'm going to go for Rock Tomb right here. Going to be able to uh, lower this thing down to 23%, which is very nice. Lower his speed as well, not that that really matters. He's just going to go for an EQ and knock us out, that's fine. And I think I just go into Greninja here. Uh, like I said, I want to keep Zard. Specifically for the uh, for the Serp, or maybe it's best to go into it now, because he has Drain Punch Rest. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Zard now actually, and I'm just gonna go for a Roost. I think is fine. Uh, Dragon Dance might also be my play. I kind of don't want to Mega Evolve because I don't want him to be able to hit me with Earthquake, but at the same time, yeah, maybe just Dragon Dancing is my play. Yeah, I'm gonna Dragon Dance. We'll see what he wants to do. If he rests up, then I can hit him with a Flare Blitz on the following turn. Maybe even a Dragon Claw might be able to knock him out, but he's actually gonna go hard into T-Tar. Uh, it's a good thing we Mega Evolved, because I can actually bring this back in uh, if I choose to switch it out, which I don't think I will. His T-Tar is Leftovers, though, so unless we crit it here, I think we lose, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you guys. Uh, actually, Greninja has Gunk Shot, so maybe not. Hold on. Maybe we don't. Alright, well, let's go for Dragon Claw. It is Tough Claws boosted. It's going to do 70%, so not enough. He's going to go for Dragon Tail and shoot us out into Greninja, which is not a good thing, but it's not a terrible thing either. Uh, and I'm just going to go for Scald right here. I don't lose anything. If he switches out into Trevenant, it dies, and this thing dies too. So it's not, a, it's not an issue. And then we're faster than his Superior, so if he wants to bring that in, uh, he's just going to get Gung Shotted right here. Uh, Scald actually did 24%, which is a surprising amount. Uh, he does have two Toxic Spikes up, so I am going to have to switch out after, I think. Maybe. Uh, or do I just switch out? No, no, I'm gonna switch out after. We actually miss our Gunk Shot, so very unfortunate, as he's gonna go for a Leaf Storm and be able to knock us out with a combination of Sand and Poison, and that's gonna be GG. And, uh, game two. Let's go. Let's bring out the, uh, let's bring out the real team. How about that? Alright, so I need to, uh, I need to bring this guy's name up again. Users online, Arcanine Gaming. Gonna challenge him again to anything goes. And now we're gonna bring out the Pseudo Squad. This is the real team. Here we go. Now, now things start for real. So we said no legends, but he never said anything about, uh, no, no Pseudos. So... I'm bringing a, uh, a full team of pseudos other than High Dragon. I don't have a, a Gen 5 pseudo. Uh, and I don't think Salamence is technically qualified as a pseudo legendary. I could be wrong about that. It could be uh, both Metagross and uh, Salamence are pseudos. But anyway, I'm just going to bust out another team here and play him again. And uh, hopefully we can win this one because I really want to bring it to game three. So basically, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to base my last team off of whether I win or lose this game. If I lose. I'm just gonna bring uh, a fun team 
Or, uh, yeah, if, I'm, if I lose, I'm just going to bring a fun team for game three. And should I win, I'm going to bring a... Uh, I'm going to leave it up to uh, Destiny to decide whether or not we, we win the last game. Basically, um, Swagger and Bright Powder let the fates decide. I don't know if you've heard that quote before, but uh, that's, that's a nice little Fizz quote for you. If you don't know Yo Fizz, go check him out. Uh, just type Yo Fizz in on, uh, <laughs> on YouTube. And uh, guy's a really funny guy. And uh, he did a GBA battle in semifinals. It was it was a uh, it was a prank battle. Like he pranked everybody that watched the video. But um, he basically him and his opponent basically just brought six Swaggermons, and they faced off against each other. And yeah, uh, and Fizz lost that game. But that's that's kind of what I want to do as the last game. I'm actually gonna pause it real quick, guys. Uh, this guy's taking a while to uh, to respond to my challenge. So we will be right back. All right, guys. So our opponent made it back. He brought a. Uh, it kind of looks like a, a league format team. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like he brought like a bunch of league format Pokemon, which is really funny. Um, all right. So I feel like my best possible lead is Salamence against him, um, just because of multiple things. I'm defensive Salamence. I have Intimidate, so this should be fine. Uh, we're gonna go for the Toxic. If he has Ice Punch, it's fine. It won't knock us out. He does have Ice Punch indeed, and it is not able to knock us out. And uh, we'll go for Protect right here, we'll Toxic Stall him a bit, that's the point of this Salamence, is to Toxic Stall. As uh, he's just gonna go for another Ice Punch, that's absolutely fine. He's now toxic what I'll do is I will pull a switch out into my Tyranitar. And he'll probably go for Earthquake on the following turn, uh, after he tries to Ice Punch us again. And uh, he's gonna be taking more toxic damage, he'll probably go for EQ right here, so I'll just go back into Salamence, as you can see. Uh, it only did 63% to us, so... Uh, he's gonna go for power up punch this time actually and he's going to bring back up his attack So now his ice punch will be able to knock us out and he's citrus berry as well. Okay I think we're faster than him though, so I'm going to protect again And I think dragon claw should be able to uh, pick up the kill right here as he goes for another power up punch uh, Yeah, it should be able to at 36% Do we need this for anything? No, we don't okay so I'll just go for Dragon Claw. It'll be able to knock out his Galark. Awesome. So we're able to pick up the first kill. And uh, I'm really tryharding with this team right now, actually. <laughs> this is too mean. Uh, he's going to go out into Nido Queen. I'm assuming this thing has Ice Beam on it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... I don't want to switch directly into Metagross in case he Earth Powers. So I'm just going to Dragon Claw. He's actually got Sucker Punch. Okay. Uh, well, this Dragon Claw is going to do a good amount to him. I don't know if he's Physical Nido Queen. Uh, I'm just gonna go for- he couldn't have been predicting a switch because that wouldn't have actually done anything So I'm just gonna go for wish right here uh, That way if he does have an ice type move at least I'll be able to pass off the wish into something else He's gonna go into Umbreon and uh, he's toxic orb Okay, uh, synchronize doesn't activate that way. I don't know if you knew that bro But uh, I'm gonna go for a dragon claw. No reason not to uh, we actually crit him so very unfortunate for my opponent. He's gonna go for facade That's gonna do absolutely no damage and uh, we're going to be able to wish up here, and on the following turn, we'll go for Dragon Claw and knock this thing out. He's going to go for a wish of his own. That's fine. I might want to pass this, actually, potentially into Titar and get up my rocks, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep my Salamence healthy because it can still lower Lopini's attack. He's going to go for work up, so not too big of an issue, I think. Uh, we are going to get a lot of health back on Titar. Not a lot, a lot, but yeah. Uh, I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks right here. His team isn't super Stealth Rock weak. He's going to Baton pass the work up. Okay. As Hitmontop's actually going to come in. Uh, but again, this is why I kept my Salamence. I'm just going to switch directly into it here. He doesn't have anything that can hit us super hard, except if he has Stone Edge, I guess. He's going to go for Rapid Spin, get a crit, not a big deal. Again, uh, he's plus one special attack, but I don't think that actually does anything for him. I'm just going to go for a Toxic right here. If he wants to switch back into Zumbreon, that's absolutely fine. Uh, makes sense with Facade. That was That's a pretty cool set, actually. I like that. That's awesome. But uh, yeah, he's going to switch out into Lopini right here. We're going to go for a Toxic. Nice, get off some damage on this. I can protect on his Fake Out if he has it. And uh, then I can switch out into, I don't know, actually. Um, we'll see, though. I'm going to protect, turn one. He's going to go for the Fake Out. It's not going to hit us, obviously. I'm curious to see if he actually has Ice Punch on this thing. Do I want to find that out now? Yeah, I guess I can. I don't mind. He's gonna go for last resort, actually. Luckily, we're defensive Salamence, and we're able to take that very well. As now, the uh, toxic damage is gonna kill him on the following turn, so I'll just go for protect. He's probably gonna predict that and switch out, but that's okay. Uh, as he does, he goes back into Umbreon. Now, how much did Facade do to me before? Um, let's see. 27.2. So, I will be able to wish up here, actually. Uh, as he goes for his own wish, that's fine. I'm just gonna go for a D-Claw. 
because now if he baton passes, he's going to leave his Umbreon extremely weak. So this is fine. I'm okay with this. He's going to go for a facade. It's not going to be able to knock us out. He's going to take an extra round of Toxic right here. We're gonna, we're both going to get our Wishes that turn. This is a Wish battle right here. Uh, I'm just going to go for another D-Claw now, as that's going to lower him to 15%. He's going to go for yet another Wish, uh, and he's going to go down to his uh, to his Toxic right there. So uh, he can go out into Lopany. That's fine. He's going to fake me out, and he's going to be able to get a Wish. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is go directly into Titar here. He's Fake Out Last Resort. Those are his only moves. He's going to go for a Fake Out. That's fine. He's going to get his Wish, but he's going to take Sand and Poison. So this is fine by me. He's going to have to switch out here. And I figured that he's going to go out into... As you can see, we're a, uh, we're a special set. I figure he's going to go out into uh, Hitmontop right here. Or he actually goes into Reuniclus. Okay, well, I can straight lose to this. Uh, no, no joke. Uh, he didn't take any Sand damage, but he didn't recover anything off either. Hmm. Okay, so that's kind of scary. I'm wondering what this thing is. I'm Bright Powder Sand Veiled Garchomp, so I'm going to go directly into that. <laughs> that's so lame. Uh, he's going to get off a nice chunk with Energy Ball. Wow, yeah, that thing is definitely, definitely Life Orb. Uh, I'm just going to go for EQ right here. Uh, I'm going to be able to do a lot of damage to his Reuniclus. He's going to hit another Energy Ball through the Sand Veil. That's absolutely fine. Uh, as I'm just going to EQ again. If he wants to switch out into him on top, that's fine. Uh, we'll take the Intimidate. We'll get off the necessary damage on him on top. Uh, actually, that did a lot. Wow. Uh, I can EQ again. He's got Fake Out. He's going to take Rough Skin. Okay, no way. We're, we're Sand Veil. It's true. Uh, I'm going to go directly into Dragonite now. We've got the E-Speed, Fly, and Earthquake on deck. So I'm just going to Dragon Dance up here as uh, his play should be into... I think he should go into Lopany actually to put pressure on me. But he actually chooses to stay in. He's going to go for a Rapid Spin to break my scale. Not a big deal as I can actually just keep going for Dragon Dance right here as he is going to uh, go for a Brick Break. That's not going to do much at all. We're going to click uh, Extreme Speed now, knock out his Hitmon on top, just in case he had Sucker Punch. I didn't want to have to deal with a little bit of extra damage. He goes into Needle Queen. We do have the EQ for this thing. He has the Sucker Punch on this, right? I forgot. All right. So we're going to be able to knock out his Queen. And if his only moves on Lopany or Fake Out in Last Resort, which we already saw, actually, then we're pretty much good to go with Metagross. Metagross can resist both of those, so I'm just going to go for uh, an E-Speed right here. He does go for the Fake Out. That's absolutely fine. We'll go for the E-Speed again. And if he goes for a Last Resort, that means his Lopany goes down. There we go. And uh, now his Renoclus comes in. And we will click E-Speed again and knock this thing out. So GG. And we will go to Game 3 now. I'm a competitive, guys. Uh, I'm, a com I'm a competitive. I'm a competitor, so I'm not sure which team I want to use, whether it be this one. No, not this one. This one, which is an extreme threat, uh, or this one. But we said no legends, so I think I want to go with this one, and I'm actually just going to switch out Thunderous for something else here, uh, because Thunderous is a legendary Pokemon. So I'm going to have to add another Swaggermon while we do that. Uh, let's see. What gets Swagger? I'm actually just going to pause it real quick, guys. I'll be right back. All right, here we go, guys. We're going into this with a Swagger team. Um, let's see if he if he responds quickly. But yeah, uh, let the fates decide, man. Let the fates decide. All right, so he's gonna bring what well, looks like a, a UU team actually, which is interesting. Um, what I'm gonna do is lead off with uh, one of my prankster Swaggers, which would be almost all of them actually. Uh, we're gonna lead with Lipard uh, against his Roserade, which is pretty good as we will just go straight for the swagger <laughs> and we're just gonna swagger everything oh my god i feel <laughs> i feel so bad uh gonna swagger this up yep uh gonna raise his attack and we're gonna go for a do i go for a u-turn here uh yeah i'm gonna go for a u-turn gonna get on out of here against this guy gonna go straight into sableye because sableye is a ghost if you guys didn't know uh and he's gonna hit himself in confusion you can see how much that actually did that was insane uh, we're gonna go for the uh, for the Will-O-Wisp now, uh, as he does go for the Bullet Punch. That is gonna do a lot of damage. However, we are gonna burn him here, and we will be able to go for the Recover on the following turn. And thanks to Swagger, we're gonna be able to beat the Machamp, his first Pokemon. <laughs> this is so lame. I feel so bad. <laughs> Just Swagger everything. Literally Swagger everything. Even Pidgeot has Swagger. We're gonna go for the Recover. Uh, and now we are going to oh, okay. Hold on a second. He has a lot of attack then. That's what that means uh, I think we're gonna switch out into uh, Possibly Meowstic. We have bright powder on everything except for uh, Mega Pidgeot as well. So oh Jose's here. Hey Jose <laughs> Just jumped into the battle. All right, so we're gonna go for swagger Swagger him up. 
and he's gonna be confused and he's gonna hit no he's gonna miss his thunder fang thanks to <laughs> bright powder beautiful all right uh, and now we're gonna go for a shadow ball let's see if he can actually hit me he's gonna hit himself we're gonna hit him up with a shadow ball do 21 percent and uh, he's gonna take an extra little bit of damage and now we're actually gonna switch out into whimsicott because we resist uh, yeah Cooper's cousin in the building that's right yeah yeah <laughs> fizz actually he knows that player I was talking about before guys his opponent was named Cooper <laughs> oh man all right so uh, he brings back out the Machamp I do outspeed this and I'm just gonna go for a moon blast he's gonna hit me up with a crit bullet punch which is gonna do absolutely nothing from a life orb meta uh, Machamp did I say Metacham? I might have said Metacham. I'm gonna be able to knock that thing out. He's gonna go into Straptor. You already know, we're just gonna swagger this thing. Uh, done building in the GPC counter team. Oh, well, thank you so much. Uh, we don't have our match this week, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into Klefki now, because he is confused. He's swaggered, of course. And I'm just gonna start setting up spikes, because they do hit the other three members on his team. And uh, we're gonna spike stack him this... <laughs> This is so lame, dude. I'm just I'm playing off of confusion. That's all I'm doing I actually have five status as well across my team. I have like dual toxic uh, Dual thunder wave and one will-o-wisp. So that's uh, that's pretty insane Let's see what this Raptor wants to do uh, as it is going to hit itself in confusion. Beautiful. Uh, we're gonna set up some more spikes <laughs> This is terrible. He's gonna hit himself again. Wow <laughs> And I'm actually just gonna thunder wave here to slow this thing down because it might actually be a threat This confusion is gonna end. He's gonna get full pair. <laughs> and now I'm gonna flash cannon and knock him out. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, confusion is so broken. I'm so glad they're toning it down. Spoilers, if you guys don't know. Uh, they're reducing uh, confusion to 33% in sun and moon. So that's very nice. Uh, we're just gonna go for swagger again here. Uh, raise this thing's attack. It's gonna get confused. Uh, he's actually lumberry, which is interesting. Uh, he should have used this from the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna hit him up uh, with another swagger right now raises attack even more and now his lum doesn't come into effect uh, He's gonna go for another giga drain. It's not gonna do anything to us. Uh, we're just gonna set up some more spikes here and uh, His his damage output from uh, Confusion is gonna be a lot uh, if he actually manages to hit himself. We're gonna swagger him again uh, As we actually miss wow, okay, so swagger. Yeah swagger is 90% accurate actually We're gonna hit that one Let's see if he actually hits himself in confusion this time as he does not that is fine uh, I'm gonna bring out the big guns now, and we're gonna go directly into Pidgeot. We're gonna go for the Hurricane right here. If he wants to switch out, that's absolutely fine. Uh, gonna go into Empoleon, good play. He's gonna take 25% from Spikes, so is his Roserade. We got up the hazards that we needed to. Uh, we do not get the confusion with Hurricane, but we'll get it with Swagger, don't worry. We're always gonna hit these two guys. As uh, he's gonna hit himself in confusion, beautiful. Uh, and now we're just gonna go for the uh, Hurricane. Shout out to me not hitting myself in confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, I love you, man. I absolutely love you, dude. I'm just gonna go for another hurricane. He's gonna take 19% from that one. He's not gonna hit himself in confusion. He's actually gonna hit me with an ice beam, which did a lot of damage. And uh, we're just gonna go for another hurricane, knock out this Empoleon. And uh, if his Houndoom should come in, I'm probably gonna switch out, I think, into Lyopard, as it does. I'm assuming this thing is Mega, actually. So, yeah, I'm gonna go directly into Lyopard. Let's see if he fire moves right here. Jose is uh, hitting me up in the chat, uh, but I am recording. I guess he doesn't know that. He's going to go for the Fire Blast, so very good play on my opponent's part. I figured he would Dark Pulse, but no. Uh, we'll go for the uh, Swagger, I think is the play, definitely. <laughs> We're leaving it up to the fates, man. It's all in the... Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a Miss Fire Blast. This Bright Powder coming in handy, very handy. A thunder Wave. <laughs> oh, my God. This is, this is so lame. Now I know why Swagger should be banned. Honestly, guys, Swagger should definitely be banned in in the GBA, like 100%. I don't agree with that being around. We're just going to U-turn here, actually. Uh, we're going to be able to bring the Sound Doom down to 15%. I'm going to go directly into Meowstic, which is also Bright Powder, as he's going to have his Confusion end right there. He's actually going to land his Fire Blast, surprisingly. Uh, and his Roserade is still healthy, so what I'm going to do is set up a light screen right here, because that thing is special. Uh, we're going to be able to take his Fire Blast. We're going to go directly into Pidgeot. Uh, fire off a hurricane if he has sucker punch. That's just really good But yeah, Houndoom is gonna go down and now it all comes down to if Roserade can beat me or not Which I don't think it can especially now with sw <laughs> swagger. Don't kill me, please <laughs> Why is Jose narrating for my opponent like shiny Weavile get out of here, man? <laughs> GG, bro. I know you can't chat But thank you for coming on the channel very 
appreciated. There we go. So, uh, actually, he left before I got a chance to say all of that. But, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, Jose says hi to YouTube. So, uh, yeah, say hi to Jose, guys. And uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you guys want to join me on any any one of these, like just a subscriber battle, if you want to hit me up in the comments on Twitter, Twitter's in the description down below. So is my Facebook page. Do so. I want to I wanna engage with you guys. I want to play against you. I want to have fun like this. This is like super fun, man. Swagger team. Like anything goes is anything goes. He, my opponent asked me to play in anything goes. If he would have asked me for OU, I would have played OU. If he would have asked me for Ubers or Little Cup, I would have played those. Sorry about hitting my mic. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Let me just uh, link my Twitter in this chat so you guys can see it as well on screen. No, sorry. That's Jose's Twitter for you uh, coming up. And uh, if you want to go check him out as well. He was narrating for my opponent. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you later. Ciao.